And in the meantime, the Africa Development Bank and the African Guarantee Fund have announced a five billion U.S. dollars mobilization facility to bridge women uh, finance gap in Africa by 2026. Ido made this disclosure at its fifth of former finance series in Lagos. Details in this report. Another round of applause. Affirmative Finance Action for Women in Africa, AFAWA, is a pan-African initiative to bridge the $42 billion financing gap facing women entrepreneurs in Africa. This program, which is an initiative of African Guarantee Fund in partnership with African Development Bank and other donors, is a significant step towards bridging the gap and creating an enabling environment for women entrepreneurs in Africa. Our plan is to see as much as possible how can we bridge that uh, SME financing gap. So the plan is to be able to unlock $5 billion of loan going to SME owner led by women over the next uh, three years, because AFAWA started two years ago. It's a five-year program. This is, the, this is the very first step of that program. And then depending now on the success, you are going to roll it over maybe another five years. Women entrepreneurs, women SMEs, are important business partners and important economic actors, uh, and they're good customers. And so that's what we're here to do is really change that mindset and really work with financial institutions to see that and also to develop the products that women need so their financial products will have a greater uptake by women. According to some of the speakers at the event, 70% of women are excluded financially, including in the areas of access to credit, job opportunities, leadership positions, and wealth creation. And to address these imbalances, the goal is to mobilize about $5 billion in financing for African women-led businesses by 2026. We are very stringent in terms of having a certain uh, percentage targeting women-owned enterprises. So as part of the, these lines of credits, we are bundling in support uh, for capacity building under uh, our power. Investing in women is not something you do out of charity or you say, ah, oh, well, I still have to take that box. No, don't take that box. And then I, I, I heard, yeah, 30% uh, for women. That would, why 30%? Why not 100%? Some of the key takeaways from this event is how to sustainably address bottlenecks around access to finance, capacity development, and the need to encourage more inclusion of women entrepreneurs in Africa. Mm -hmm.